We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Kamal Hassan, who is President and CEO of the Innovation 360 Institute. Kamal, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the Innovation 360 Institute and what it's all about. Well, Innovation 360 um, is a it has two approaches, two different uh, companies actually. Uh, one is focused on innovation management and increasing innovation output of corporation and organization. And the other is focusing on the entrepreneurs, on disruptive, innovative entrepreneurs. So we apply similar tools and methods, one in cor for corporate and one for entrepreneurs. Now there's been some major changes in the ICT sector. Mm. What for you do you see as the principal opportunities arising from this transformation? Well, the main uh, uh, principles of transformation that I see is what I call disruptive innovations. There are a um, few things are coming up that will disrupt the uh, status quo, the business as usual in ICT, the telecommunication providers, the technology providers, the hardware and the software. So, and that will come not only from, uh, you know, practicing innovation or coming up with innovative ideas, but from the entrepreneurs. I think the major transformation going to happen when entrepreneurs are disrupting uh, the, the industry with some innovations. That's, that's where I think it's going. So. And what about the challenges? Well, the challenge is, is, is that the giants are, um, you know, in the industry are um, still protective. They're not opening the doors. In, in some other industries, you will see that the, the major uh, players are opening the doors, are connecting the, uh, through innovation, they're connecting their corporate innovation with uh, the entrepreneurs. Um, IBMs and 3Ms and others are really building that ecosystem and connecting it by leveraging the ideas and the entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurs' passion and innovation to bring it into corporate life. Um, but in the uh, telecom space, especially in the ICT, still we had to see this from some of the uh, major players as well. Uh, other challenges is um, because of what we went through the last few years, resources and funding. Um, uh, in some part of the world, uh, funding and resources for innovation are available. In other part, which we are where we live in here, still not, not very well understood. Uh, funding and investing in innovation is not very well understood and structured. So we don't see much of that. So a lot of people are bootstrapping their innovations rather than receiving external funding and resources and help. So these are the two um, challenges, linking the corporate world and also providing resources and funding for innovations. So what's your vision or response to take advantage of the opportunities that are arising? Well, uh, we, we did this actually at Innovation 360 by starting an innovation accelerator. And the whole concept is that if there are no infrastructures or let's say uh, resources on funding that are uh, understanding the innovation space in this, in this space, in this industry, we come in as a, a, a kickstarter to this, as a, a, a bouncing board for some of these innovations. So we started uh, an accelerator. We take on some of these disruptive ideas, invest in them, give them the resources and then tools, and kickstart them to a point where they become viable business. And then where we expect and hope that the uh, uh, major uh, players in the market will take notice of this and bring it to um, bring it in-house for, for, for themselves. Um, we're at the beginning and I see a lot of excitement, a lot of um, uh, activities around this and uh, right now I am here in Dubai participating in the ITU Young Innovators competition. You'll find a lot of these things are happening around um, the region and globally just to kind of build the momentum for more disruptive innovations to come from the bottom up, from the grassroots level. And we're, we're participating by introducing an innovation accelerator model. How important do you think the competitions such as the Young Innovators Competition are to getting people involved? Well, very important. Uh, the, everybody needs a platform to, to start. There is nobody um, dropped from the sky and ready to go on. They really need a platform to start. They need something to start on. And these competitions are great um, uh, platforms 
but they're not the only platforms, right? But they are good platforms for young innovators, even for corporate innovations. I have seen a lot of corporate uh, innovations are participating even in these competition. Just right before I uh, came here a week ago, I actually participated in corporate innovations, in SME innovations awards and, and competitions, though they just not the end. You know, receiving an award, being recognized is great, but it's not the end. The, the, the next follow-on is actually investing and starting these innovation into some viable business. And that's what I think the, the industry needs. And finally, I'd like to ask you, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. What makes this event important and what makes it uh, a key event in the calendar for ICTs? Well, it's an interesting event in, 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 many, in many aspects. One, um, you see things all in under one roof uh, that you don't get the chance to see unless you own a, a private jet and move around the world to see these things. Uh, the second thing, um, uh, diversity inspires many, many people. And that's what you see in these type of conferences, and especially in ITU conferences, that you see diversity in innovations, diversity in product offerings, diversity in the business models. So you learn. You, this is a great learning uh, environment for many people. Um, they also provide an opportunity for networking. We live because of networks. We're, we are human beings. We cannot be isolated on an island. We have to network as much as possible. Possible. And the bigger your network, the bigger your co connection, the better opportunities you will um, gain if you are either starting or even building your business. And so that's that's a great platform for many, many people. So. Kamal Hassan, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much.